body. This is Savage 93. Let's see how she does. All right, we're sitting here at 60 yards. I'm gonna take a few shots. I'm shooting some CCI 30 grain with topped off with VMAX projectiles. So uh, we're gonna take a look and see how she does. Got a six inch gong down range. Boom. Should we go three for three? Yep. One more. Whew, just like that. All right, everybody. My name's Ethan. I'm with Hey Buck Outdoors. Today, we're going to be doing a range review over the Savage 93. This particular model is chambered in 22 Magnum. Uh, I was just shooting from a five round magazine. We also have a 10 round magazine so it's pretty neat you get a bunch of rounds on tap uh this one is wearing a leupold vx freedom 2 to 7 by 33 a nice little optic i've got it on seven power because i'm trying to make a bunch of hits for you guys today this one is left-handed because i am unfortunately born that way we have a montana sling company leather sling on here and uh yeah so we're gonna see how accurate this is and how reliable i have taken this out two other times before this video and I have had a couple of issues not gonna lie so we're gonna take a look and see if I can repeat those for you all right let's get into it so I'm gonna take this 10 rounder the only times I've had issues I believe has been with the 10 round magazine so we're gonna see how how she does okay it did feed so I kind of like the look of that the magazine sticking out of the bottom there sweet it is mighty cold out today so if I'm messing up my words a little bit or I can't hit the target. I really can't really feel my fingers right now. Take a couple more shots. Yeah, those CCIs have got some oomph to them. Way louder. I was shooting some Hornadies, I believe, over there. I'll show you guys here in a minute. Yeah, we're putting them all right in about two, three inches. I'm not going for extreme accuracy. We're going offhand here. First issue. Okay, so what happens sometimes is it gets uh, that spring for the magazine pushes that other round up before you finish putting it in the chamber. So what I've typically done is you just pull back on the bolt again, then feed it back in there. Uh, typically works. We got a few more shots and see if we can get some more impacts for you. There it happens. Oh, double feed. Man. Don't let me down, Savage. That's a darn shame to see. I just cleared that double feed and we are ready to rock and roll. It is like 20 degrees out here today in central Missouri, early February. Missed that one. I can barely feel my fingers. So I'm probably jerking the shit out of this thing. All right. Okay, everybody. So the two types of ammo we're going to be shooting today are these Hornady 20 or 30 grain VMAX rounds. I just shot a bunch of those. I had some CCI uh, VMAX mix there in there as well, 30 grain. Uh, and then what we're about to shoot is this Hornady critical defense. It's like a defensive round. So if you have a handgun chambered in 22 WMR, you can use these in it. Uh, I was doing some research, they produce about 200 or so foot pounds of energy. Uh, out of a barrel like this, you might be getting close to 300, which puts you into nine millimeter territory. Uh, that is 300 pounds, foot pounds of energy. Let's take a look at these critical defense real quick and show you what they look like. They are 45 grain, which the rifling twist on this particular barrel does tend to prefer heavier projectiles. So we're gonna take a look at it. Again, I'm sorry if I'm shaking a little bit. It is like 20 degrees out here. So as you can see, that little round, it's like a jacketed hollow point. You have a silver looking case. That's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys off and we can take a few more shots downrange. All right, everyone. We're gonna take a few more shots with those Hornady Critical Defense. Uh, the way you load these, I guess I should mention you have a little uh, groove on the back that links up right in the magazine well. Like that. I hope you guys can see me out here so 
broke my plate. I'll be darned. Wow, I gotta go take a look at that. Oh, this one's not wanting to feed. All right, let's take a look and see what's wrong. Huh, that's odd. I'm gonna turn you guys off and see if I can get this to load and go fix my car. I was able to fix the target. These Hornady's, uh, the critical defenses, do not want to feed from that 10 rounder. So if you are going to use these, I don't know why you would. I'm just seeing if they'd function in this, they will not feed from that 10 rounder. I'm going to try to diagnose that when I get back to my house and see if I can give you guys a positive answer. Okay, we're going to put a few more shots down there. Hopefully I won't break my gong again. Cool power. They feed real well from the five shot magazine. Now it might have to do something with that magazine being brand new and you're shooting hollow points out of it. Typically that's not a really good uh, equation for getting stuff to work for you, right? Smoking. I will say, I'm a big fan of this Leupold glass on here. Definitely makes it nice and clear. Uh, this VX Freedom will run you about 300 bucks. It's almost as much as the rifle. I believe the rifle goes for right around 300 too. It does ship with one magazine, at least it did when I got it. Uh, it does have a pretty heavy profile barrel on it, which I am happy of. I mean, we're sitting out here in 20 degree weather, so that could uh, be helping it, but there is really no heat coming off of it. Uh, I do not know who makes the scope mount. I'll put that in the description if I can find it. But yeah, walnut furniture, they do make them in synthetic. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's take a few more shots with those Hornady's. I want to see if I can get another malfunction. Stay tuned. All right, I was able to get it to feed when you put, I believe it was five in the 10 shot round, mag Jesus, 10 shot magazine. Sorry, words are tough. It's really cold. I can't feel my hands. We're gonna try to make a couple more on the gong these Hornady critical defense. That is kind of a letdown. Um, I was using polymer tipped 30 grains earlier and I was not running into that problem. So I think it's just unique to this particular round. I had a failure to fire, so I'm gonna try to wait and see what happens. Now it is extremely cold y'all. That can make your gear and your ammo do some funny stuff. I'm keeping this point in a safe direction, giving it a minute. Rim fire though is notoriously unreliable. So take a look at that shell. As you can see, nada. That's like a dollar a shot, so I'm disappointed. Come on, Hornady. You know better. Stay tuned, we're gonna head back to the house and I'm gonna give some final thoughts. So we are back at the house. Uh, the rifle is clear, as you can see, for all you keyboard warriors out there gonna get on my butt about it. So final thoughts, um, I love this rifle. This is my go-to varmint hunting gun. Anything from crows to rabbits to squirrels to even coyotes. You put some 40s or 50 grain uh, projectiles in here and you can kill a coyote. 
coyote out to 150 yards relatively humanely. Um, I will get back and do more testing with this. So, thoughts on reliability. Those CCI 30 grain VMAX and Hornady 30 grain VMAX performed excellently, excellently out of this particular rifle. Um, I think the issues we were having with the 45 grain Hornady critical defense were caused mainly due to this magazine. This is a brand new magazine. Uh, and I think I might have overloaded the springs or maybe they staggered in a way they weren't supposed to. But what was happening is the round was laying flat and the nose wasn't tipping up here where the end of the follower is, so it wasn't allowing it to get stripped off the magazine. So unfortunately, uh, I would recommend not to use that ammunition. It is more of an offensive round too. It probably would be pretty devastating on an animal. That's just my thoughts. Um, if you're gonna go for something, I would stick with the 30s or 40s. Um, the grain projectiles, the VMAX is really nice. You get some really good accuracy out of that. Um, a lot of my hits were landing in something about between an inch and two inch, and as you can see, I was shooting off hit. Um, other than that, uh, I think having a scope on this, something like a little uh, Varmint Optic, a two to seven, a one to four even, is an extremely um, beneficial thing to have on this particular type of rifle. The irons on this are perfectly fine. I've used them before. I'm just a big fan of being able to have a variable optic like this. A two, I've got two power, four power, and seven power. And that gives me some versatility out until 100 yards. I think I'd feel comfortable shooting on a target like the gong we were shooting today that was six inches across and be able to make consistent shots. So I think uh, overall it's a good little rig. Again, you'll probably be able to pick one of these up for between 250 and 350 is what I've seen them going for. Um, I'm a big fan of the Walnut and Steel. They do make synthetic versions. I know they make 22 long rifle versions of this. They make 17 HMR and 22 mag. This is a 22 mag. I don't know if they make any 22 Hornets. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if they did, I suppose. But overall, I, I, I'd give this a win in my book. Yeah, it didn't function perfectly reliably, which we like to see, but, but you know, it was good enough. Um, I think that uh, you get some time behind this rifle and get really accurate. This Accu trigger that Savage has put on here uh, is, man, perfectly crisp. Again, I'll show you that it's unloaded, and we're going to ghost the trigger, unloaded. So I've got about a two-pound pull on this right now. So if I get on target here and I squeeze, I squeeze, boom, and just there's no take-up, and it's just a crisp, clean pull all the way to that break. And Man, I was putting those shots on target, and it really helps you out. You know, you have to put in your work, obviously, but it's an amazing, amazing trigger. Overall, I would say this is one of my favorite 22 rifles uh, that I've ever owned. So I would definitely recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you have not already. Like, share, and comment helps promote the channel and the algorithms, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.